Welcome to Young Money. My name is Nozi Pombanjwa. This is the show, of course, where entrepreneurs decide that they are going to become employment creators as against job seekers. Today, we're starting off our conversation at the Africa headquarters of Samsung. We're in Bryanston, Johannesburg. We're going to be catching up with the, the marketing and the corporate communications manager. Her name is Michelle Potkitev, and she's going to be telling us a little bit about what Samsung is doing to tackle youth unemployment in South Africa. And then from here, we're off to see Ashley Anthony. He's from a data science company called Isazi Consulting. And we're going to be finding out what Ashley and his team of youngsters are up to. Let's go meet Michelle. Michelle, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Give us a sense of why uh, the challenges and issues facing young people are important to Samsung. Well, Samsung South Africa is very lucky because for the first time we've been included in a campaign that has rolled out across the globe um, from Samsung perspective. So eight subsidiaries or eight countries have been selected to identify a key issue within their market which they would like to address. And in South Africa we've identified unemployment amongst our youth as the key issue that we would like to tackle over the next couple of months. And Samsung has done some research obviously around uh, this particular issue. What are the most pertinent findings that are coming through? Well, we conducted research amongst millennials as we call this group or the youth um, age 18 to 34. Oh, what are the key issues that affect them? And obviously besides crime in South Africa, which we all know is a, a real issue, um, unemployment came up yes. and it is 50-50% um, or 49-51% male-female um, youngsters who say this is a real issue. Um, they are urban as well as rural based um, and it is across all the racial groups within South Africa. So it's not a, a problem unique to a specific race group, it's common. So 47% of youngsters today say they can't find formal employment. And that is a real concern and a social issue which we need to address as a corporate. So it's a big social issue. How then does Samsung begin to think about its role in trying to alleviate some of the pressures that are contributing to youth unemployment? So it's called, our program or campaign is called Mixed Talents. Mm. And what Mixed Talents entails is bringing two different minds together at the end of the day. People from different environments to solve an issue. So we're bringing together two individuals. Um, the one is a property developer, a youngster, called um, Jonathan Liebman, and a an, uh, coach um, by the name of Carol um, Kaufman. Mm -hmm. And these two will tackle this problem. Obviously, they'll bring their different perspectives to discuss, and they also call upon South Africans and youth to address this issue. Um, we've also had people from Wits Business School, from Gibbs, economist, industrialist, all participating in the discussions over a series of workshops to bring different perspectives mm -hmm. to this problem and to build a potential solution. What does success look like at the end of these conversations and the workshops? What does success look like for Samsung? Well, for us, it's not about products. Mm -hmm. It's not about selling more products. It's about using our technology to help these people to craft a solution. Mm -hmm. And at this point in time, we've been engaged in a series of workshops and it's not to say this is the solution. Yeah. It looks as if we're moving towards an app which will drive a solution to unemployment. Mm. Are you able to then engage uh, government or any other stakeholders uh, once you've reached conclusion of your own work to then share your findings and put on the table some of the proposals that could actually be the, the solution that the country is looking for? Well, currently the discussions all allude to various possibilities yeah. which we share um, on different public platforms. Mm. But we intend to launch um, a solution, a solution, at the end of the day into the marketplace, a prototype which we will then um, leverage and hope that youngsters or young South Africans will use um, as a formal tool or as a formal solution to unemployment. And just as a final question, um, your thinking around the importance of the youth demographic for a player like Samsung, what does getting this problem right mean for the future of the business? 
Well, I don't think we're idealistic to think that we'll solve it, that Samsung will solve it. We want to play a small role in contributing to this social problem in South Africa. And we believe that when we bring great minds together, people from different perspectives, we can find a solution to issues in our country. We're now sitting down with the geek team from Isaza Consulting. Let's find out what these guys do on a daily basis. Guys, such a pleasure to meet you. Just give me a sense of who you are and what role you're playing in the company. I'm Dario. I'm the technical director here at Isazi, uh, me and Obi anyway. And uh, my real role is to uh, kind of assist the technical team and uh, help them out with their problems and also liaise between business and technical. And your background? My background is in computer science and applied mathematics. Okay, so geek number one is a computer scientist. Let's get to Obi, all right? Just give us a sense of what you do, Obi. Working with Epia, I'm a data scientist, actually, by trade. And um, I studied applied maths. So I'm an applied mathematician. Applied mathematician and in the company you are a technical director as well? Yes, I'm a technical director. Day-to-day uh, -day I do all sorts of modeling and optimization. <laughs> yeah, higher grade stuff. So you do higher grade stuff on a daily basis. Awesome. Let's move over to the next Ashley, right? Yes. Uh, I'm Ashley Anthony. Uh, I'm the managing director of Isazi Consulting and uh, I take care of all the, the business uh, mm. side of things and dealing with all the clients and the deals. And what's your geek background, Ashley? Uh, I'm a geophysicist by qualification. Geo so, so. Uh, applied mathematician, a geophysicist and the, what was your title again? Technical the, te the technical director come together and you guys put together this company. What inspired Isazi? And maybe Ashley, let me start with, uh, with you. Where, where did this idea come from? Sure. Um, well, Dario and I both studied together at uh, Wits University, uh, where we met Uba King. And uh, we used to talk about all the different types of problems that exist in Africa. And uh, we felt that there's definitely a need for a company that focuses on a niche, which is data science. And uh, maybe it's time we just focused on creating an extremely smart team with people who are specialists mm. in niche fields. Uh, so we came up with the name Isazi. Uh, in Zulu, it means bearer of knowledge right. or scientist. Um, and it essentially uh, speaks directly to our company. We are a team of scientists that uh, just love what we do. A team of scientists that's on a mission to solve some of Africa's problems. Uh, Owaking, what is the role of data in, in solving Africa's problems? And why are you guys so sure that this is the best way of going about it? I think the, the role of data is actually to give us information. I mean, data gets used and spread around on a daily basis. And we use this data, we harness um, solutions from this data uh, in order to, to provide meaningful insights uh, into certain problems. So mm. I'll give you an example. You're on your cell phone and you're busy typing and you get this predictive text, right? Right. And that all stems from data. It all stems from what people have been typing, recognizing what word, what characters are actually being put input by the by the user, and then uh, predictive analytics takes over to suggest the word that you're probably mm. looking for. So I think data plays a role in in day to day life for for mm. everyone, and we can actually harness sort of uh, um, solutions from that right. to solve problems. So without actually getting you to, uh, to name drop any of your clients, but what kind of projects then would Is, uh, Isazi actually take on? Well, you know, I think um, just to, to, to address that completely, they say that technology is the great enabler right. and the great democratizer. And uh, data is sort of the thing that underpins all of this. Um, what we've been able to do in, in quite a number of spaces is use data to come up with solutions that are quite innovative, such as, for example, looking at the emerging middle class who haven't got a credit history mm. and uh, establishing a credit score for people based on their social media profiles. Um, another thing that we've done is uh, in education to be able to deliver data-driven insights to a teacher even though the students in that class don't necessarily have a smartphone. And we did that by making a, a scannable by the, by the phone um, multiple choice card that they can answer. So now, what's clear to me is that one of the greatest assets that you guys have is just your incredible minds. But actually, starting the business, the funding, the early days, what has that experience been like? 
So, strangely enough, um, we've started the business without any funding uh, or investment, and uh, we've managed to retain our equity as 100% shareholders. Um, it was, was that a deliberate decision, or was that a, a consequence of difficulty of raising funds? Uh, it was definitely a deliberate decision. Uh, our The way we view things is what we sell here is, or what we license to people is our intellectual property. And we felt that um, if we just stuck to our guns and truly tried to add value to a client, right. somebody would eventually pay us for it. Mm. And if they didn't pay us for it, we'd have it's probably because we're not adding enough value to the client. As yet. S as yet. So it's really allowed us to grow very lean uh, and really stick to the core, which is adding value to the client. So the, the company has grown lean, but this is where we are now. Uh, are we the future? What does that look like? When you guys are sitting together over drinks and talking about your five-year, ten-year game plan, what are the kind of things that the guys are throwing around? I think what we, we really want to achieve is a company that, that's self-sustainable and attracts the, the greatest minds from all over the earth to, to come and work for us, to come create, foster that environment so that the smartest people can sit in a room and produce brilliance. I think, I think from an employee's perspective, that's what we want. And we, we just want a company that, that is um, looking beyond the problems now yeah. and, and, and being able to see, uh, foresee problems that currently people cannot see. So I think that's, that's the sort of company that we want to be. We, we're more futuristic. We're looking into the future. And I think our five-year year plan is to grow a little bit bigger than what we are, but also maintain interesting problems for, for people to come and solve. So that's, re that's really interesting because if, if one were to literally just stand behind you guys, it almost would be a lens into what Africa's future problems what might be. And we're really looking at the problem solving that's happening already now. But just give me a sense, what do you guys think we're going to be grappling with uh, in, in the next uh, uh, couple of decades or so, the big problems that are going to be at the top of every government list? Well, I think it's always the problems of sort of enabling the emerging middle class and the poorer classes to sort of really grow and build the economy. Because we're in an economy that is, I mean, it's an exciting time in Africa. We're, we're growing. We're, we're really starting to, to, to make our own um, image. And I think the kinds of problems, obviously, there's basic facilities, there's water, there's electricity that you have to address. But also there's financial services, there's um, enabling the every man um, now to be able to really come and, and, and to use data to mm. enhance their lives. And a company that's done something like that, and it's the kind of solution that, you, that, that really works, is, is for example Uber. They've, mm. they've, really com they've made transport accessible to so many people. And I think to, to, to take that kind of solution in all kinds of industries right. and across the board and just let the smartest minds attack it is that's our dream. Guys, I think you've heard it for yourself. The smartest minds attacking both the current problems as well as the future problems on the continent. Sounds to me like this continent and this country is in safe hands. This is the team from Isazi Consulting. Thank you so much, guys, for making the time to join us. Now, remember that if you want the Young Money crew to come to you, all you need to do is just drop me a tweet. The hashtag is YoungMoney410. Following me at CNBC Africa and, of course, at The Real Nausea. Let us know what your business is doing and let us help you get to the next level. Until next time, it's goodbye.